Everybody welcome, it's Robin Nolan here, and in this lesson you're gonna learn double stops a la Stockler Rosenberg, okay? It's gonna sound something like this. Um, people are just jumping on live. It's Robin Nolan here, gypsy jazz guitarist and educator and inspirer. It's my mission to take the theory and headache and all the boring stuff out of learning guitar and gypsy jazz and learn the fun way. So in this lesson, you're going to learn a really cool uh, trademark lick from one of the best guitarists in gypsy jazz, Stockler Rosenberg. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Leslie. Welcome, Pedro. Um, Robin Nolan here in the kitchen. You're going to learn this trademark lick from Stockler Rosenberg, which sounds like this. It's this kind of sweet sound. And uh, hey, Andrea from London here, looking forward to this lesson. Great, man, got your guitar ready. Welcome, Paul, Paul from New York, welcome. Uh, when you join this live, even if it's in the future, then type in where you're watching from. And if you're doing something a little bit different, then type that in too. It's always good to know where people are watching and what the hell they're doing. Hopefully you've got a guitar nearby. Um, you're gonna learn this really cool thing, which I call Double Stops, uh, a la Stockler Rosenberg. And uh, it's something which, uh, I've just played it before. I'll play it a few more times so you get the idea. And I'm gonna teach you the lick, but not only the lick, I'm also gonna teach you the concept behind the lick so you can make your own licks. And that's, what's, that's always what's really good. So you're not actually always copying someone's licks, but you kind of, you, you'll get a kind of an aha moment. You go, oh yeah, that's how he does it. And then you'll be able to make your own lick, all right? So that's what's coming in this lesson. And uh, so over E minor, it kind of sounds like this. So it's going along. Okay, so very sweet, very uh, beautiful kind of, uh, <clears throat> it's like fairy dust sprinkling it on the music. And this is something which Stockolo Rosenberg, and if you don't know him, he's the king. And you've got no Stockolo. Welcome, Nikki. Welcome, Paul. And um, so you're gonna learn this lick and it's over E minor. Okay, really easy. And so you're gonna go like this. Okay, that's the first bit. You're gonna take those two notes, right? I'm also gonna teach you the concept behind this lick so you can make your own licks, which is even more cool, I reckon. So, welcome everybody. So you got the E there, then you've got the G. So those two notes. Okay, that's a double stop, two notes together. And uh, you just, it's really easy, okay? So you're just gonna go. Okay, so play the two notes, go down a, <clears throat> go down a semitone, a fret, then back up, okay? And then go up two frets. Okay, <clears throat> the finger position stays the same, so really easy. And uh, it could be in a swing tune, you know, it might be going E minor, right? Just like that. Welcome, Leslie, Northern Ireland. Welcome, Mark, from Sweden. Fantastic. Welcome, Kevin, from Melbourne. High and dry and watery Welburn. <laughs> watery Welburn. <clears throat> Welcome, guys. It's got a frog in the throat. You're going to learn this really cool Stockler Rosenberg lick, which is uh, double stops and I'll show you where you can use it. And also I'm gonna teach you the concept behind the lick so you can make your own licks. And then I'm gonna teach you some other, a little bit of theory in this lesson, okay? Some basic stuff, so hang on. Um, it's not gonna to get too complicated, don't worry. By the way, check this out. Gypsy Jazz Crash Course, awesomeness. Um, if you've not already um, signed up for this, then it's a free Gypsy Jazz Crash Course, 10 minute crash course, which is waiting for you. And you can literally go to that website and get it. And it's gonna teach you how to play the rhythm, la pompe, and also some gypsy licks. And it's gonna give you that massive confidence for the jam. And not only that, but you'll join my community. And every week I'm sending out emails with new lessons and really cool stuff. So if you wanna keep in the mix and keep the inspiration going, sign up here, gypsyjazzcrashcourse.com. And that's what it's all about. It's a picture of a guitar, by the way, it's what I drew. 
Um, I think I'm not such a great artist, but anyway, awesomeness, that's kind of what, what happens when you go to that site, okay? So click there, welcome Olive, well, welcome Olive, well, welcome Brian May, Brian May from Canada. Brilliant, not the Brian May, um, but the other Brian May from Canada. Go to that site, okay? Guys, it'll give you massive confidence in your playing. GypsyJazzCrashCourse.com is a free course waiting for you there. So there's, there's the advert, okay? And uh, you're learning the Stockler Rosenberg lick. And if we're playing it in uh, E minor, right? So I'm just gonna build up the groove, then I'll play the lick. Welcome. So this is really easy. Let's learn it. So you got those two notes. Okay, so that's really easy. Welcome, Jimmy. And then, basically, he finishes off the lick going. Okay, so you move strings to the B and the E string there. Eighth fret, seventh fret, and then go. So all using these two fingers. And then it's always the same kind of uh, spacing. Welcome, Dennis. Great to see you, buddy. Um, so we're going to sound like this in slow motion, okay? Okay, so it's so over E minor. Down strokes with the right hand, okay? And don't forget with the left hand as well. If this is really easy for you, make sure you're putting feel into it and real vibrato. Okay, you've really got to bring these notes alive. Welcome, Ed. Welcome, Dennis. What's happening, Rob? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Where are you? Type in where you're watching from, everybody. Whereabouts in the world are you watching? David Jasmineus is what is watching. And I'm teaching this really cool and really easy Stockholm Rosenberg lick, like this trademark lick which you can play over E minor. If I play that same thing in D minor, okay, obviously that's easy, we just go down two frets and easy to navigate to because you've got the D minor here on the fifth fret and then you can find the lick, okay? So okay, so nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here, we're just using notes from the D minor chord there, picking those two double stops. I'll just hide the other fingers so you can see it easier. David is watching from Thailand, fantastic. Welcome. Okay, so you're in a tune like Bossa Dorado, we've looked at that before. Uh, like, just setting the groove. sounding lick and it's really easy and uh, it's easy to find as well you're in D minor you're in E minor it's all based around the chord there um, so that's the lick okay that's number one now I told you I was going to teach you the concept behind the lick uh, and it's really easy as well welcome David <clears throat> David Adon welcome um, so you've got welcome Elroy from Philippines fantastic that's so exotic Fantastic, people from all around the world. I'm in the kitchen in Amsterdam. And uh, by the way, my name is Robin Nolan, just in case you've joined and you haven't seen one of these before. And I play this kind of guitar, gypsy jazz guitar. And, uh, but I do it in my own way. And I like to help people do the same, you know, kind of get a bit of taste of gypsy jazz in their guitar playing, whatever style they're coming from, and inspire them and teach in bite-sized lessons. So it's really easy to kind of, uh, <clears throat> easy to do and take the theory out of it, okay? So we've got E minor, okay? So obviously this is a, welcome Jose, welcome from Brazil. There's E minor, okay? So we've got. So what you can see here, we've just got the. That's just E minor, right? And then you can take the, and then you take Pedro, how could you join the exercise and the octaves of the last time? Um, I can't remember what you... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to concentrate on this lesson right now, Pedro. 
put a, I'll answer that comment when I get, and if anyone's got any questions, write it in, because after the show, I always get in, and I always, always answer everybody's question and everybody's comment. So just leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. Um, Dennis, I'm going to work on some licks. Good idea. So you've got this lick, which Stockler played. <laughs> Cheers, Brian. See you later, man. And then, basically, okay, that's the lick that he played, but just understand it's coming from... So you've got these notes. Okay, just these... kind of thing and then the cool thing about these you can just slide up from a fret below and then slide up and it always sounds really cool okay and that's just chromatic welcome Eilish how are you doing welcome Ivan cheers buddy thanks for the comment any comments just write them in questions let me know where you're watching from okay and if you're doing something cool type that in too and uh, so in E minor, you just take the chord, and then you've got the... And you can do loads with that. Say it's in a swing tempo, like a... I might do something. Okay, in slow motion. I'm just going along in E minor. Okay, even that just one phrase goes a long way. So you're playing, it might be a ballad, you know. Okay, it's really easy. Right there on the E minor chord. Okay, D minor. Okay, so we're playing a swing tune in D minor. It's going... Okay, something like that. And then know that you go... And then you can also go, okay, and it's going to sound really groovy. So, um, welcome everybody. I've been teaching the Stockler Rosenberg lick, uh, which he plays in a minor key. So, if we're in Welcome George, if we're in E minor, we're going to go. D minor would be like this. Okay, so that's really easy. And uh, we've learned that it's based around the chord here and you've just got these. And then you can slide up to each one. And also you can go. that okay we're swinging along you know something like that if it's really swinging along also on a, on a ballad it's gonna sound great and it's really easy okay that's what I like to teach easy things um, because I'm not into like massive shredding stuff and I'm teaching easy things which sound really groovy in your playing you know what I mean so you can actually do it um, if you like this way of teaching I've got this really professional uh, thing here, and it says gypsyjazzcrashcourse.com, awesomeness. Go to that website, okay, there's a, the link is in the description of this video. Click it, because there's a crash course waiting for you there, and also you'll join my community, and every week I'll send you a new lesson, okay, and lots of cool stuff to do with gypsy jazz guitar playing. So make sure you go to this website, put your email address in, you'll get the crash course, and then I'll send you stuff every week. Really cool, free lessons just to help you and inspire you, okay? So Gypsy Jazz Crash Course, awesomeness. And there's a, an amazing picture of a guitar there. So that's, um, you should definitely be doing that. Um, so here's, here's a really interesting thing. So, so you've been playing in E minor. Welcome, Jay. Welcome, Manu. Great to see you, everybody. I'm teaching this really easy lick from Stockler Rosenberg which you can play in E minor or D minor. Um, now here's, here's a thing, just a concept to know that if, say you're playing in E minor, and we've just learned this, okay? Then it's also good to know that the same licks that l work in E minor, here's a little bit of theory, the same licks that l work in E minor work in G major, okay? So, 
Welcome from Norway, Bjorna. Welcome from Michael. Cairo from Egypt. That's fantastic. I hope everything's swinging over there, brother. Um, so whatever you play in E minor, whatever lick, including this one, it's going to work, okay, in G major. Okay, so that kind of doubles up how useful the lick can be. So anything you play in E minor works in G major. And then anything you work in that works in D minor, anything you play, welcome Anthony. A lot of people joining here. Uh, whatever you play in D minor works in F major, okay? And here's a little bit of theory. And I've written out this very professional looking double slops. Oh no, that's not it, it's the other one. Relative keys, all right? So whatever you play, in D minor is gonna work in F major, okay? This is just a tiny bit of theory, but it really helps. And anything in E minor will work in G major, all right? So this lick we've just been learning in, let's say in D minor. Welcome, Alex. You're in California, it's 5 a.m., you're awake, brilliant. Hopefully you had a bit of sleep. Um, I'm in Amsterdam, type in where you're watching from, guys and girls. There's D minor, so the lick. works in D minor, but if we're playing over F, okay, so it's going along an F. Okay, it's also gonna sound cool in F, and that kind of doubles up how useful it is. So when you're playing anything in D minor, if you're playing an F, you can still think in D minor, okay, and vice versa, obviously. And when you're in E minor, okay, works over G. So any of those licks in E minor will work over G. And that kind of frees up your thinking when you're improvising, all right? Now, I've got a lesson plan here. And uh, so that's just reiterates that, okay? D minor is going to work for F major, E minor work for G minor, etc. And that's the three fret rule, okay? So if you're in D minor, then you've only got three frets up, you're in F, and that, that'll work in F major. Welcome to your... Oh, Tsuyo, Tsuyoshi, what, wait, welcome, uh, ohayo gozaimasu, uh, welcome from Japan, and welcome Valentin from Asturias, Spain, bienvenido, como estamos, um, people watching from all around the world, I just love this, it's incredible, um, make sure you go to this site, okay, Gypsy Jazz Crash Course, go to this site, sign up, you'll get a crash course in the, in your email, and also you'll join a community where I'll be sending you lessons every week and really cool stuff, okay? That's what it's all about, the Gypsy Jazz Crash Course. Make sure you go there. The link is in the description of this video, so you can click on that. Um, let's just recap what we've been doing. Jim says, check out Angelo Debar's usage of this on Melody or Crepe School. Exactly, something like Melody or Crepe School. double stops, um, which is just sounding beautiful. Uh, I'm going to keep it really tight today, um, just because every every time I teach something, I like to kind of concentrate on that one thing. And you can we, we all get distracted, and there's loads to learn, but if we just learn one little thing, um, Jazzo is watching from Iraq. What? That's amazing. Jazzo Menko, welcome, brother. Hope everything's all right over there. And uh, I hope you got your guitar there as well. Welcome. People watching from all around the world. Um, just going to recap what I've been teaching in this lesson. And it's this, uh, what I call double stops a la Stockler Rosenberg. And it's like a signature lick of his. And if you're in E minor, it's going to sound like this. Okay, in D minor. Thanks, buddy. Jasso, thanks, thanks, buddy. I don't know if he's really in a wreck, but who knows? Um, so, so that's a really easy lick, right? E minor, D minor, and it doesn't matter if it's swing. Say it's swing in E minor. Okay. Okay, swinging along. Okay, works great. D minor. All down strokes with the right hand. That's how you play it. Now we talked about, um, so that's one way you can play these double stops. Now the concept, say you're playing in a major key, say you're playing a tune like this Manoir de Marais. Okay, you're in D major. 
major and you want to play this beautiful sound using double stops, then this is how you do it. D major, there's D major. Okay, and then you're going to take this arpeggio, or this uh, major 7 voicing, okay? That's D major 7. Okay, just diagonal all the way down there from the D. 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret. Okay, that's D, all right, D. <laughs> D major 7. And then what you can do is take the top two notes. Okay, so you're in D major. Like that, and it's going to sound really beautiful, like sprinkling angel dust on the music. So, Manuel de Moraes. You know what I mean? So you get that same sound, and it's really easy. So if you just visualize that, D major, 10th fret, then you take these double stops, okay, 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 and then for each of those, you can slide up from a fret below, so, okay, and then it's going to sound great. Welcome, Jim. Jim says, helps develop the rest stroke too. That's true, because when you play these, you kind of go... falling through the strings and letting the pick gravity do its work and uh, and it kind of gives a better tone when we're playing this music. Um, what type of pickup you got on your guitar? There's no pickup on this right now but I use a few different things. It's always it's kind of like when you're amplifying an acoustic guitar. I've got a Crevo pickup for electric sound which is absolutely awesome. Crunching, fantastic sound, Crevo. And uh, I use a mic when I can as well in concerts. And in the kitchen, don't need a pickup, so perfect. So, in the major key, okay, take A major. Okay, there's A major. Then you've got the A major 7. Okay, then you've got... Okay, and then you can go... So even if a tune like Django's Tiger, you know... kind of get that nice double stop sound that's what today's lesson is all about okay this sound so if you're in G there you go down here you got okay so say you like something like out of nowhere you see what I mean every time you're on the major chord that's where you kind of that's where you get it from and then Realize what I said before about relative keys. Um, check this out. <laughs> a bit of theory here, a tiny bit of theory, which kind of helps double up what you know. So anything that works in D minor will work in F major. Anything that works in E minor will work in G major. That's great. Anything that works in the other way around works in C major, works in A minor. D major works in B minor. The three fret rule, okay? Three fret rule. So if you're, if you're, playing, in, um, if you're playing in G major, and you're playing that and it works in G major then go down three frets and that minor chord that's E minor then the same thing will work there okay that's the three fret rule so if you're in C major there's the C major 7 okay okay that works over C major go down three frets there's A minor and the same thing will work Welcome Brazil, welcome Eduardo. And uh, Jim says, if you don't have Robin's Licks books, get them. You'll get, yeah, it's true. I've got these Licks books, which are brilliant, teach you all the licks. But for now, if you're not a member of my community, then make sure you sign up here, okay? This is a really professional looking thing. Gypsy Jazz Crash Course. There's a crash course waiting for you right there, and it's full of awesomeness. And that's meant to be a guitar. I don't know if you can tell. But uh, you'll also join my community where I'll be sending you emails and free lessons every week and keeping you inspired. That's my job, okay? Go to that and make sure you download. Uh, and Jimmy says, loving your bite-sized lessons. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. And that really, you know, those kind of comments really keep me inspired to do this. And uh, that's what I wake up every day and this is what I'm doing. I'm teaching my kids and I'm teaching people from all around the world. And I think it's really cool. 
Um, so let me just recap what you've been learning in this lesson, which is Stockler Rosenberg's double stops, okay? So, okay, in E minor. Okay, that's one lick, okay? Very easy lick, because you're just using those two fingers. And uh, <clears throat> it's a kind of signature Stockler Rosenberg lick. And um, cheers, Jimmy. And uh, it just sounds great. That's an E minor, D minor. Okay. And also this one little lick, I, I use this a lot. Even if I'm just going along in D minor, even just these three positions. And then up two frets. And I do a phrase like... Yeah, so it's going on. Just swinging in D minor. And I'll do something like this. And that double stops kind of backs up that line. Okay, D minor. E minor. stop will really give you lots of mileage when you're playing and then here we go where was the other sheet this is where we talked about relative keys so that lick in E minor will sound just as good when you're playing over G major okay just try and remember that D minor F major so E minor that lick okay it also sounds okay there's G sounds perfect over G major so just kind of makes it more useful and the same with D minor and F major okay so that's just a little bit of theory which you kind of get used to when you play guitar you I, I kind of think that if I'm playing over, over F major then I know that the D minor will also sound cool okay we'll get into that in another lesson but um, yeah thanks man uh, it's my pleasure it's my pleasure I'm actually gonna jump off now um, it's been really cool. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope hope everyone's having a great weekend, all right? And wherever you are in the world, um, I hope that you're getting a bit of inspiration from this kind of music, and you'll actually pick up your guitar and get inspired. And whether you're playing in the kitchen or... Hi from Philly, love your focus on the small details. Yeah, it's those little things which count. Because, you know, sometimes people teach, and a lot kind of goes over your head. It's like, what what did he say? What What was that? But if you actually kind of get in with a microscope and kind of actually look at what's going on. I think then you can, you can actually learn it and actually kind of, you know, integrate it into your playing, you know, lick by lick, note by note. Um, that's how I've kind of learned, you know, just by little bits from learning from everyone. And you can learn from everyone. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Jula Shosko, sorry for the pronunciation, but thank you. You are most welcome. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Don't forget to go to the crash course, okay? Sign up there. You'll get a free crash course, and you'll also get regular emails from me with free lessons and lots of inspiration, okay? So join my community, get the crash course, go to that website, okay? And I'll see you very soon. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching, and lots of love from Amsterdam. This is where I have to lean over and try and... Where's that button? Guys, lots of love and girls. See you, Jerry.